so I guess you've all noticed my little uh, rat rod shopping cart turned into uh, a little cart for the rat rod shows uh, or a swap meet, whatever person wants to use it for. It's going to be a pull cart from now on. Uh, I've actually removed some components from the cart, which are all on the video, but I want to point out one thing. Uh, these small carts, or even the big ones, do not go steal them from the store. <laughs> even if they're on the street, ask the manager. There's damaged ones, they'll give them to you. Uh, you can actually go to jail for taking these. Um, what I did, uh, I did the same things I did with the rat rat. I slammed it down. It used to be almost uh, four feet tall as a push cart. I slammed it down and you'll see in the video, there's uh, a video of the rear axle, how I fit the tires on it. I've taken a little weed eater motor, mounted it to it. Uh, it was still a working weed eater motor, but I stripped it down of its components. I've taken out the, uh, the gas tank, which I have here which I'm no longer going to keep out on it. It's just for decoration of the motor now. Kind of like chopping down a rat rod body. Um, it's kind of exciting to do it on a smaller scale because it gets done quicker. Uh, this is exactly how much I chopped it out down to. I've taken this section out of the uh, shopping cart or uh, kitty cart if you want. This was the piece that was down below it. And actually there's not much waste from it. I may use some of this stuff later to make like a wheelie bar or something in the back. Right now I'm in the process of uh, finishing up the little headers I put on the motor. Uh, yes, I did put a little brazing on each side. So when I buff the brazing down, it'll kind of look like uh, the headers were used. I've used uh, CO2 cartridges for the headlights out of uh, pellet guns and BB guns. Uh, they're available at any sports shop used. Make sure they're not new when you weld them on. Make sure the container is open. Uh, the door handles I've used off of old drawers from an old kitchen. I found them also at a flea market and I got a whole bunch of them for like 10, 10 cents. I've welded them onto the front. I got a little axle on the front here that I could steer, keeping the car slammed to the ground. This is just a mock-up axle. I have another one in my hand, it's a solid piece of steel. I'm going to mount uh, some more smaller wheels, now, just as now as in the back, just to keep with the theme of it. I'm also going to tie a, uh, a handle onto it or weld a handle onto it if you want. I'm going to keep it in theme with the rat rat car because I'm going to use like an old shifter handle. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one in particular, but this is the idea it's going to be. So when it's in the front, it's going to steer the front wheels when you pull it. And when you put this wheel back, it'll come up behind here. It'll still look pretty cool at the same time. I'm also going to um, not cut this piece, but I'm going to bend it to like an L shape. So when it goes down, it's going to tuck right in. But if you want to open it, it'll come over and it'll have an overhang here. So you can still put more stuff in the cart because if you're at a swap meet, you never know what you're going to pick up. You know, this is a perfect cart for a swap meet. You're going to know it's yours because it's pretty unique. On the little motor, back to the headers, I've used a uh, transmission tubing. Welded it to the, uh, the actual exhaust. They do breathe through the exhaust actually. Heated them, bent them. Like I said, the bronzing after, I'm going to buff it down. It'll look kind of cool. I've actually left a little switch on it, just for authenticity. I've, the motor's been welded in. Once again, to this cart, this is like a big block. All that torque, the motor has to be welded in, right? So it's welded in. It actually was easier to weld it in than it was to bolt it in. Uh, I'm actually got a small link chain I've picked up from a scrap pile. And I'm going to use it on the front axle like I did on the, uh, the rabbit I'm currently building. So you never know, this may come up a pair as later on. But it makes it cool, you know? And I managed to cut it down far enough where it's actually slammed. It looks kind of cool. I love it. Um, and I'm going to paint the, um, the gray here to a rat rod scale. I'll show you that in a later video. Uh, it's going to turn out pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. And this kind of build, you don't have to be an expert welder. Uh, if you're a beginner welder or even somebody who's trying to start out with, it's a great platform to practice on. Uh, it doesn't matter the scale of welds that are on it, they'll look cool. They don't have to be as structural as on a real car. Uh, if something breaks, you can always re-weld it. That's the whole idea of this whole project. Have fun with it, you know, uh, do it. Uh, as long as you um, use safety precautions when using a welder, you'll be fine. So I was doing a little bit of uh, work on the rat rod and um, I was talking about putting the super traps on as opposed to those little square fittings I had on. The squares look okay. Uh, they weren't that functional. I decided since I had the super traps, 
to cut them down and weld them on. Um, I think it works out great. The door opens fully with the, uh, the super traps on it. And I got to put my little symbolic X's, which I love to use all over the cars I'm building. Uh, this attempt worked out great. Uh, next video, I'm going to show you how I did that on the next, the opposite side of the exhaust. So I'd like to thank everybody for um, sending me all the emails, uh, looking at the uh, Facebook pages, uh, also the website, uh, ratridenorth.com. Uh, it's always really cool to see what other people are building out there, not just me. Uh, I love what I'm doing and I love what other people are doing. This is what kind of inspires it. Um, these ideas keep flowing all the time. So keep up the good work, uh, keep in touch, and watch the next few videos. And I thank you a lot.